Hello, my beautiful subscribers. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. I welcome you to a brand new day. Today is uh, Tuesday, the tenth, tenth of September, twenty twenty-four. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are all fine. Uh, my prayer for you and for me, for myself, is that um, God Almighty, in His infinite mercy, will have mercy on us and uh, sustain us, provide for us and our family. Uh, make a way for us so that we'll be sustained uh, to survive the hardship or the ha harshness of this um, economy. Uh, that is my prayer for us. And God will make a way for us to, a, a way out for us to, to be able to bear, to bear it and survive it till when this money will be disbursed. That is my prayer for us. Okay, today, um, I just want to give us a, a uh, a, a brief update yeah I want to give us a brief update concerning our expectation which is what uh, what brought us here together as one big family on this channel uh my name is prince prince Adiola, as you all know uh, but i'm i'm saying it now in case um it's your first time for those of us that are coming here for the first time or seeing this channel for the first time my name is prince Adiola, Leslie, aka crown prince or cp for short all right and this is my channel cp ngo and online money business uh, what we do here basically is to is to update ourselves and share information it's about information dissemination that has to do with uh how to make money online generally generally ranging from grants and free uh, free handy sites where you can make money every site or app online where you can make money freely at the comfort of your home exportation of a uh, food food stuff importation of a uh, general merchandise um, forest trading cryptocurrency trading um, mining hubs head drops and hand drops and um, and so on and so forth anything at all that can bring money that can make us make money online legitimately and that is what we are here for uh, CPNGO is an uh, is the media harm. This channel is a media harm of uh, of my NGO, yeah, Crown Prince Humanitarian Foundation. All right, uh, I just created this channel. I created the channel for information dissemination that has to do with anything grant pertaining to uh, Nigerian grants and anything that has to do with uh, NGOs or humanitarian uh, humanitarian uh, projects. Okay, so uh, that is basically what this channel is created for. So uh, now to go straight to the point for today's update. Today's update, uh, I just want to give us an update about what is going on in Grant Nigeria, uh, what is going on in Grant community, and, and uh, uh, pertaining the concerning the information that is coming to me or that has come to me so far. Yeah, information reaching me yesterday from my Intel. Concerning the grants, some grants in Nigeria, based on our expectation, which I believe that by the special grace of God, God on our side, in His infinite mercy and power, He will smile on us. He will make fortune to smile on us, and uh, and uh, and help us to touch the heart of uh, our government for them to be able to do the needful. So far, so good. Uh, what I can deduce from information coming to me is that we still need to intensify in prayer. We need to still talk to God or to continue telling God about, about this uh, matter anyway. Uh, first of all, let me update us about what is... Um, let me start from... Uh, uh, what is it called? From uh, UAG. Okay? Let me start from UAG. Uh, I know that most of us must have been weary or you are getting weary about what is actually happening in Nigeria grants but the only point uh, i would like to let you know all of us here to know is that uh, we shouldn't blame all this grant and that 100 uh, percent if you are a citizen in this country you are one of us you are one among us and you are living here you will know what i'm talking about that this country is for strong people for strong men and women <laughs> there are power that be in this country that wouldn't want uh, the citizens of this country to be liberated yes so that is why i keep 
telling us that let us not uh, be casting aspersions and uh, be blaming uh, the uh, these grand handlers be causing them rainy causes and abuses and all that. That is not going to help because if you look at it keenly, if you are privileged to be close to any one of them, if not all of them, you will know if you know what they are going through, the battle they are fighting. <laughs> you, in fact, you will start asking God to forgive you for whatever you know words bad words you have you had, you had said about them okay so uh but all and all the only thing i will just uh, let us know here today is that there is no, no retreat no surrender yes you know that word now that acronym so uh, that says uh, no retreat no surrender that is what i want us to have in the, uh, the back of our mind yes you know with uh you know, doggedness and resilience, determination. Uh, keep telling, uh, telling ourselves this word that no retreat, no surrender. Uh, just like your bad, uh, says that Tino Batola show and you need only corner. Not until we are victorious. Not until uh, we sing, we finally sing the victory song ahead of us that we have been envisaging. Uh, we will not give up. We will not surrender. So that is exactly how I want us to see this game. I want us to, the approach I want all of us to use, every one of us in Grand Community, so far, your interest, or what brought us here, or what brought you here, is that uh, you want to see this grant uh, being disbursed to us in Nigeria. Then I will say this to us, I have this to say to us, that we have to be dogged, we have to be determined, you know, and uh, we just have to keep telling ourselves that no retreat, no surrender. We are not going to throw in the towel. We are not going to give up on our prayer, on our expectation and, co and continuous prayer, you know, until we finally sing a, a victory song or a victorious song of deliverance, you know, that God has finally delivered our blessing in grand community into our hand. This is my own candid advice and opinion to everyone that cares to listen. And to do what I am saying. And this is the only way that we can have this thing delivered unto us. And we all be glad for it. Okay. There is a good news that is uh, that is waiting for us to be sung. You know, it's ahead of us. And the seed sown in tears uh, will eventually be reaped in joy. You see, the seed sown, the seed that we have sown, all of us coming here together in God community, the seed that we have sown in tears you know, all the sacrifices we have paid, all the, both financially, our time, our energy, emotionally, and all that, okay, those are seeds that have been sown in tears. Uh, for us to see this, uh, the long-awaited, you know, a grand disbursement, for this one to be disbursed to us, you know, those are seeds that are sown in tears. And I'm here to assure us in the mercy of the Lord, as the Lord live it, that um, the victory song is very close, it's ahead of us. Okay, and the seed sown in tears will surely be be reaped in joy in this month by the special grace of God. Yes, yeah, so far so good. UAAG concerning UAG, all right. All hands are on deck. All hands are on deck uh, to deliver um, disbursement concerning uh, about UAG UAG disbursement. All hands are on deck from all the management and the, the, the top leaders that are, are that are in forefront, you know, of this uh, of this struggle in UAG. All hands are on deck to deliver. That is why you see uh, that's the reason for the for the silence in UAG. You will notice if you look at it properly, you notice that uh, there is a unusual this long you know silence from UAG side. It's not. It doesn't really call for panic, neither does it call for doubt or uh, for one to conclude that uh, maybe there is nothing they can deliver again. They don't have anything to deliver. They have accepted defeat. They are silent. They are silent because they are silent because they don't have anything to deliver or uh, they are failed. No, UAG has not failed. UAG is still strong. UAG is still strong and standing strong. Okay, they just need that prayer. Uh, as support, you need our support through prayers, okay, that God should see them through. If God should open your eyes to see what is going on underground, you know, even as they are quiet during this uh, uh, period of silence from UAG, 
you you just be you know your your heart will just beat for them for the management of UAG. I'm giving you this information not as a result of a uh, uh, sweet mouth or or praise singing or anything like of of sorts. No, no, I don't have anything to benefit or to gain by singing praises of of them if they are not really working. Um, this information I'm giving you, you know, is authentic. It's a verified information from authentic uh, source or sources, you know, from my intel. And my intel can never, never deceive me or, uh, or lie to me. All right. I got it yesterday. All right. I'm, dis I, I, I'm disseminating them today, being the Tuesday, the 10th of September. All right. They are the latest updates I'm giving you and they are verified to be authentic and confirmed. Okay. UAG is working. So let us not start blaming them or let us not um, uh, uh, conclude that UAG has failed just because of the fact that they are silenced. Silence is good. And I keep telling you that silence is good. All right. They are busy working. All hands are on deck concerning UAG. All right. And that is the reason why. That is the reason for their silence. That is the reason for their silence. That they are quiet or they are silent doesn't mean they are not working. A serious work is ongoing. And... Uh, this month they will deliver by the special grace of god uaag will deliver so let us not uh, be carried away by uh, by whatever is going on you know on social media concerning them bad matching them talking down on them as if um, uh, they are the they are the reason for whatever issues that we are going through in this country no but they are here to you know to help us to help us uh, reduce or ele ele elevate uh, poverty and the hardship, you know, brought upon all of us uh, through this, uh, uh, what is it called, uh, uh, subsidy. Are you getting it? So God will see us through. That is that is my own faith. That is my belief that God will always see his own people. Those that have faith and trust in him will never be put to shame. will never be disappointed. So I want us to continue trusting in God relying on him on his world daily consistently steadily you know concerning our expectation of this our uh, grant this disbursement that god will see us through and we surely do it if you don't faint if you are not uh, faint-hearted if you don't give up god will surely deliver it unto us in no time and i believe it will happen this month all right based on the information coming to me so let us keep trusting god for uag and uh, keep supporting them in prayers uag will deliver they are really working. They are working. I wouldn't want to say more than that uh, based on the information coming to me from my intel. All right. Uh, that is for UAG. Then again, concerning Supreme, my people, uh, Supreme will deliver. Supreme is actually a done. It's ready to be delivered. Okay. It's ready to be delivered. Uh, but your government, or let me say uh, our government, uh, because I'm still part of the struggle. I'm still part of, uh, I'm here. We are here together. Let me not use the word your as if I'm not part of it. Our government, the government of the day, insisted that a project, community empowerment project or community project must, must begin first before this money is, is given to uh, the, the super coordinators and the coordinators and, and also the every other person that is involved that needed to, to be credited for Supreme. You see? Supreme is trying. The woman is really working and her team, they are really working. Based on what I've seen so far, the information coming to me, aha, uh, yes, I, I'm not singing their praises. I don't have anything to gain or benefit in deceiving you, my people, on this channel. There's nothing to gain about that. Are you getting it? Uh -huh. Because I'm part of the struggle. I know how much I've spent in millions. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. As an NGO myself, I spent millions concerning these things. So what would not be my gain or benefit? in giving you uh unverified update uh you know just to sing their praises i have nothing to benefit in singing their praises because my whole money in millions is involved in their hands so i'm actually i'm also expecting even much more than anyone of you on this channel or in that community i'm much more than that i'm expectant i'm expecting because my investment is huge which i believe is far far huge or bigger than what whatever any one of you here uh think you 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 had uh, invested okay so then uh so i just want us to continue trusting god for all these grant handlers you know for the work they are doing we need to support them they need our support 
not to be casting aspersions or to be uh, talking them down, abusing them and raining causes on them. That will not help either them or us. It doesn't help anybody. Okay, they need our support in prayer. Like Supreme, like I, I'm saying, Supreme is working. Supreme is actually set and ready. Supreme is ready, hundred percent. Okay, but you know the government of our day. That's why I said uh, we need, we need, we need to intensify in our prayer that God, in His infinite mercy, because He's the only one. God is the only one that can touch the heart of the government, heart the people in the affair or in the authority or in this country. Or are you getting it now? Just for God to touch their hearts, for them to do the needful, to have the mercy, to have the mercy, the mercy of the masses in this country, to have it at heart. Let them have, you know, a touch, a change of mind concerning the suffering masses in this country. God should touch their heart and let them have mercy on us. That's just what we need. If they can have mercy and pity for us, the citizens of this country, this money is a done deal. In, in, in a split seconds, everybody's accounts will be will be ringing, will be having alarm. I mean, will be, will be banging with alerts. I'm telling you. So it's the power that be that is still delaying this thing. You take it or leave it. You might not believe what I'm saying, but that is the truth. That is the truth, all the, uh, uh, all the same, whether you believe it or not. So supreme, like I'm saying, it is ready. I'm telling you as an insider, uh, I might not be with them in Abuja or in Badagri or doing what they are doing, but my eyes... My eyes are there. As an NGO myself, I have people there, you know, monitoring all these things for me because I can't be everywhere. Because I still have several other things that I'm doing that I'm engaged with that will not allow me to be on those ground, on the ground with them in Abuja. But I have people, strong people that are there steadily giving me this information. So I'm not deceiving you and I'm not telling you or giving you updates of what I don't know, information that have not been verified. Are you getting it? Okay, so Supreme is ready. So let us, let us not be abusing them. Supreme is 100% ready. Okay. But the government of the day insist or insisted that they must carry out the project for them to see. The government want to see the project in all the states uh, that Supreme uh, uh, is involved in. Okay. They want to see the community project being done uh, before the money will be released to stakeholders. As a matter of fact, the stakeholders, which are the uh, super coordinators and the rest of them, they are, they are on ground. They are anxiously waiting to be credited. They are waiting for their account to be credited, for the uh, for for the disbursement to start. In the moment they are credited like this, and they will be able to dis they dispense or disseminate the uh, the money to the appropriate quarters uh, under them. All right, the stakeholders are anxiously, eagerly waiting to be credited, but the government of the day insists that Supreme must carry out projects. You know. In all these uh, states, in all the states, before they will be credited, and that is exactly what is still holding Supreme. So Supreme is not fake. Supreme is not fake. Yeah. Uh, then concerning Power of Five, information coming to me is that Power of Five is about to deliver. Yes, any moment from now, Power of Five will deliver. You remember Power of Five, the one that um, you know the registration is actually free, but for one to be a member, you need to have their uniform, which is the T-shirt and the face cap. Okay, and that is the only payment that is uh, that has been demanded uh, for Power of Five uh, grants or projects. Okay, so it's it's really working. Information I got yesterday was that uh, uh, they are just uh, they are putting things together, putting things together uh, for their disbursement to to be carried out concerning the Power of Five. Then for the for Tiobat, I'm a huge investor. Huge investor in Tubat, especially, you know, more than every other every other grant. Huge investor in Tubat. So so far so good. Information reaching me from Tubat. Uh, the truth is that uh, I've not really gotten any information concerning Tubat. Uh, no, until now, or I've not gotten it yet. I will know probably later today. Today being Tuesday, the tenth of September. Yes, information. I will contact my intel. So, any information that gets to me, I will still come up here. And, uh, and share it with us. Okay, but so far so good till now. I've not had anything concerning uh, Tilbat. I contacted my intel yesterday concerning Tilbat. He said nothing is being said yet. The man is not showing up. He has not said anything. And the, and uh, my intel has not seen any sign, anything concerning Tilbat yet. So the one my intel, uh, the one I'm giving you now, are the ones that my intel told me or informed me about, you know, yesterday afternoon stroke, yesterday evening. 
All right, so that is concerning too, but concerning, um, what is it called, uh, Centrita, concerning Centrita, the only thing I had, information I got concerning Centrita, is that they will deliver. I am not a subscriber in Centrita. I didn't subscribe to Centrita. Neither did I subscribe for even Power of Five. I didn't subscribe for Power of Five. But my intel are just telling me, you know, the information generally in uh, that as it is happening, you know, in grant community concerning all the grants that are about to deliver or to disburse in Nigeria. So uh, I tell you the truth about five grants, five of these uh, uh, grant handlers are ready. We, we surely deliver. They will disburse five. Five of them will deliver. Yes. So let's keep up our life and let's keep our fingers crossed. All right. And uh, contributing our own quota, which is very, very simple. And it is prayer. We should be praying for them, for God to help them, to see them through, to be able to, to tidy up the work they are doing and to for them to disburse this money to us. Therefore, our own side, our prayer is that God should sustain us, make a way for us, you know, other ways, other open other avenue. You know, for us to be getting something to sustain ourselves with, getting money to sustain ourselves with, till when this blessing of this grant will be delivered to our hand in, in good health and with long life, you know, to enjoy it. Okay, so my people, this is the update I have for you uh, today. Probably before today is over, before evening, if any, if I get any other information concerning uh, grants, I will surely bring it up. For us, so do not give up on hope. Do not give up on hope. Do not give up on hope. Continue trusting God. Let's continue trusting God, relying and depending on Him, and we surely see us through. All right, God will not shame us because He does not shame those that put their trust. He does not fail or disappoint those that put their trust on Him. So, by the grace of God, He will see us through, and uh, this money will be delivered unto us. Finally, look at this. Uh, Go to, uh, I will encourage you on a final note as I round up this video that um, uh, on the, the description of this video, you see link there. I will encourage all of you that are my subscriber, my follower, if you're a subscriber on this channel, uh, take advantage of the uh, the fan group, the fan group link on this video, on the video description. And I think uh, it's in all the uh, video that I do, any video that I do or make, either for grants or any other online business that I share here, uh, the fan, my fan page, uh, my fan, my, uh, my fan group link is always on my video uh, description. All right, uh, because I'm looking at the possibility of me, you know, uh, helping all you or encouraging my my subscribers and my fans, you know, in the, every little way that I can. The moment this grant is disbursed, okay, as a philanthropist myself, as an NGO owner, okay, uh, that will be my own little uh, contribution to encourage and support my fan, my subscriber on this channel. So take advantage of that. Okay. Always check the video description on every video update that I post here. See the video description. Go to the video description and click on the link to join my fan uh, group. Join my fan group so that uh, when this blessing we are expecting comes, uh, I'll be able to share, you know, among us. But it's only those that, that is on my fan group that, you know, that we benefited. Because those are the ones that it will be easy for me to reach. So we can communicate and reach ourselves. Okay, those are the only people that will be benefited if I want to do the, when I'm ready to do the giveaway. Like I said, or like I've always said, uh, when this blessing that we're expecting land, okay, I'm going to do a giveaway. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway. I keep saying it. I'm going to do a giveaway. But before then, I will go on live. I'm still going to go on live the moment this money is disbursed. I'm going to go on live either on Tuesday or, or Thursday to let us know that the giveaway is about to start. But nevertheless, still take advantage of joining my fan group. Use the link in the video description to join my fan group. Because whether I do, I go live or I don't go live, the moment this thing, this money is disbursed, I'm going to contact the people in my fan group. The group will be open for, for all of you in the group that are my followers and my subscribers. You know to submit your bank details and uh, i'll do a giveaway there just to encourage us to encourage us to support us to show uh, my appreciation for being uh, my subscribers and my follower so thank you uh god bless you enjoy the rest of of the day good morning